morning. This is our fifth, sixth, sixth lesson of how to train your dragon. Um, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, so we're going to continue with our story. Imagining your Viking character is climbing um, into the dragon nursery to get their dragon. So we're going to read a little bit more of the book. Um, and then you are going to be imagining that your character is climbing into the dragon cave, okay? So, although he wasn't your usual mindless thug of a hooligan, Hiccup wasn't a wimp either. Being frightened is not the same as being a coward. Maybe he was as brave as anyone else there, because he went to catch a dragon, despite knowing what dragons are like. And when he had climbed, Perius, Perius perilously, can't speak, perilously to the mouth of the cave and had found that inside there was a long twisty tunnel. He still went down it, despite not being too keen on long twisty tunnels with dragons at the end of them. So he's climbing through the tunnels now in the cave, isn't he, Storm? Okay, because he's got, so he's climbed up the cliff and now he's gone into the cave. This is important because this is what we're going to be writing about. The tunnel was dripping and clammy. At times it was high enough for the boys to walk upright. Then it would close down into narrow, claustrophobic holes that the boys could only just squeeze through, squirming on their stomachs with the flares held in their mouths. Do you know what claustrophobic means? Storm? Um. If you're claustrophobic, have you ever heard that word before? If you're claustrophobic, it's when you don't like being in small spaces. So imagine if you're climbing or you're on your belly, squeezing through a tiny tunnel. How do you think that might make you feel? Do you think it'd be fun or scary? Fun. <laughs> or maybe a bit of both. Maybe fun in a scary sort of way. After ten long minutes of walking and crawling into the heart of the cliff, the stench of dragon, a salty stink of seaweed and old mackerel heads got stronger and stronger until finally it became unbearable and the tunnel opened out into a ginormous cavern. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to read today. So your character yesterday climbed up the cliff top and today they are going to do what Hiccup has just done and they are going to go into the cave yes so here is just like yesterday a paragraph i've done with some um spaces for you to add your own adjectives or your own words and phrases now if you don't want to use this and you just want to write your own sentences that's totally fine as well but you know our learning objective today is to write the second part of your story where you go into the dragon nursery describing um with some of the five senses. So this is as you're approaching and as you're walking into the dragon nursery, okay? So silently, I entered the something cave. Silently, I entered the gloomy. Gloomy cave, could be. And I could hear, so what noises do you reckon you'd hear in a cave? No, we need to start a new paragraph, Storm, so don't start there. Okay, don't write anything yet. So I could hear, what might you hear in a cave? What noises might you hear? We'll come back and we'll think about that. Could be, well you're not there yet, remember, you're in the tunnels trying to get there. Which made me feel something because... Excited! You need dot dot dot, could make you feel excited. Or could make you feel scared. As I something crept silently you could have an adverb there or quietly crept down the something tunnel i could smell so do you know what hear and smell are have you ever heard of the five senses, senses? yeah has mr little talked to you about um yes. describing with the five senses no no near need to sound so exasperated storm so we're going to try and describe today with the five senses so we know that's hearing which we've done already what could you hear as you crept down the something tunnel i could smell what could you smell beneath my feet i could feel something <laughs> as we approached the sleeping dragons when i entered the cave i could see dot dot dots 
Okay, so we can see we haven't focused on taste because that's probably a bit of a difficult one. So I'm not sure why you'd be tasting anything walking through the cave. Um, so we're going to pause the video now while Storm has a go at doing this. You can write this paragraph out and then add your own words or descriptions. Or you can just, you know, use this as a model and write your own sentences. But remember, you're imagining your character is at the top of the cliff and now they're working their way to the dragon nursery.